Cobra Crack inspires me. I guess for the same reason that it would inspire anybody. You know, um, it's just very aesthetic, very it's perfect in every way. It's, uh, it's got a lot of different kinds of climbing, some dihedral stemming, some slab climbing into a beautiful sweeping overhang. And just when you look at it from the trail and you stare up at it, you're like, oh my god, it's perfect. As far as having Canadians support me on it, yeah, a lot of, a lot of my friends who were involved in the route, they, they got really psyched, you know, when they knew I was getting close. And, and they'd come up just to watch sometimes. And I remember being like on the trail hiking up by myself one day with a backpack and you know I remember seeing people that I've never even met before and they'd be like hey are you going up to try Cobra Crack and it started to develop this sort of um, I don't know this mythical I don't know storyline you know and people started to get really interested and you know everyone was wishing me luck everyone was wishing me luck so yeah I guess when I you know when I started to get really close on it it felt great you know? and it was just a matter of time before you know, it clicked, and, you know, the time I did it, just like anything, it felt, you know, it felt easy, almost, you know. A few days before I did the route, I remember started, um, my linkage was getting really, uh, really long, I was, I was, I was one-hanging it maybe two or three times on lead now, and I remember one-hanging it in really bad conditions, and I knew that once I did that, as long as there was a good day and a good weather and a good breeze and it was dry, I think I had a really good shot to do it. I felt really confident. I was feeling really strong. And yeah, it was just a matter of uh, everything coming together for that day, you know. I didn't know whether I was going to do it that day or the next day or the next day. But I did know that I was going to do it. I was not afraid of it. My sequence won't work for everyone and, and that's just the way it goes on this route, you know. It's going to feel different for everybody. You break the route down into sections where you know you can handle it, and then you build it back up and start to link those sections together, and you, you know, you train for it and you think about it all the time, and and then finally when you clip the chains, you know, it's it is a terrific, terrific feeling. But I think what I love most is the process, and clipping the chains just means that the process is over. So it's, I mean, it's kind of a catch-22 in in a way. The only thing that separated success from failure was getting that last right hand just before the crux. And if I didn't get it perfectly, the way I had to get it in order to do it, then I would fall off. There was no, there was no gray area. There was no try harder. It was just either do it or don't do it. So, I, I, you know, with that being said, it was again, it was just a matter of time before I got it just perfect. Not...
awesome, sir. Okay, go for it, man. Come on, push it. Come on. Come on. so good as far as the quality of the, of the stone I'd say it's the best route I've ever climbed on in my life you know hands down it's definitely the most aesthetic climb it's definitely the best stone I've ever climbed on so I mean it's it's hard to compare anything to the Cobra crack there's nothing in the world like it there's nothing in the world that looks like it that climbs like it it's it's really unique and it's a you know, as far as I'm concerned of what a classic, timeless route is, I believe that that belongs in that category. You know? Like the first ascent, really, I mean, I think anyone will tell you that that's not their, their number one goal. You know, when they find a line or a route that they want to do, I think most climbers will tell you that it's really not, it's not the single thing that motivates them to do it. What motivates them to do it is the line itself. So, for me, it didn't matter if it was the first ascent, tenth ascent, or one hundredth ascent, it, that didn't matter to me. What mattered to me was was making a connection with that route, and it's basically just a relationship between a climb and a climber, and, you know, so um, I'm pretty psyched that, uh, that it's there for me to do, you know, and it's there for everyone to do. Good day.